to Cinemax Japan and my name is Terry Gong and uh, today we're having a typhoon. Uh, have a typhoon you kind of get stuck at the house so uh, what you do is you try to keep busy and uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to make pot roast. Uh, pot roast uh, is an American favorite. Uh, I'm using uh, both Japanese and American materials. How simple it is to do all you have to do is uh, basically uh, season the meat, burn the meat, and then put it in your pressure cooker. Uh, pressure cookers are great. They, they simulate ovens. They cook very quickly. They're very energy efficient. And so uh, please enjoy this uh, episode of Cinemax Japan as uh, we show you how to make pot roast. To cook pot roast, we have a couple of vegetables. Onion is a must and uh, a carrot. We're using garlic. We're going to stick that garlic inside the pot roast and our secret uh, secret gravy, beef broth. We're going to add that even to the pot roast. Um, I'm using a wok because I'm Chinese. And uh, I went into the commissary and we got uh, some uh, chuck pot roast. That's pretty cheap. It's going to for vegetables, uh, my wife uh, always insists that we make vegetables, so I cut up some broccoli and uh, I'm going to cook it uh, a la dente, which means I'm going to just uh, just cook it just enough, just steam it basically. So I just put like a quarter inch of water with some salt in the bottom to, to make it boil faster. And then to complete the pot roast, we're going to put it in this pressure cooker. If you're afraid of pressure cookers, uh, don't be. They're, they're easy to use. They have safety valves and releases. I, I, I haven't known anybody who died from a pressure, pressure cooker accident. So this is essentially what we'll be using um, to make this delicious uh, dinner. Continue to watch Cinema X Japan. Okay, let's get uh, back at the matter of uh, cooking dinner. Uh, and. Uh, uh, once again, we are looking at our ingredients, and uh, the first thing I would do is just to uh, prepare the vegetables. Always uh, wash your vegetables. I've got some uh, Japanese carrots right here. I'm going to go ahead and clean them off. And uh, we use this net to, to make sure we don't have garbage disposals here in Japan, so we, uh, we just try to keep all our, 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 our biodegradable uh, garbage uh, in this in this net uh, using my wife's uh, uh, skin off the carrots. You can hear the typhoon raging outside. It's uh, not a very big one. It's a little more skin off. Of course, when it gets too thick, bisect it. My carrots, it's kind of sweet. Now let's go ahead and cut the onion. Um, uh, usually, you just cut the root part off first. Just kind of pull the skin off a little bit. Once so again, throw it in my biodegradable stuff. And, uh, and uh, from this point on, I would just go ahead and cut it in half. I wouldn't worry about the tip. This is a relatively old onion. And uh, with the tip, I would just go ahead and cut one way this way and one way this way, just to get the tip off the end, and then pull the skin back. There you go. And we have a nice onion. Same thing here, cut the tip tip back a little bit and pull the skin off. Just a couple layers, first couple layers off and voila, we have that. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and rinse the, the board off again. Now when you're cutting onions, and uh, I'm a crier because uh, the onions make me cry, I go ahead and try to just cut enough but I don't cut it all the way through I just cut to the edge here and uh, cut it this way just 
the blade in and cut it back like this. This is a, a good way to cut onions and it won't, uh, the, 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 the thing won't make you cry. I always cut it horizontally according against the grain. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we are ready to chop up the onions and I'm just going to throw them in my wok as a temporary holding place. Um, now you can cut it all the way through and uh, you get some nice square pieces of, uh, of onion. Um, it starts to get a little bit difficult. Turn it around and cut into it that way. You don't cut your finger off. I'm gonna throw it into my wok. Keep your holding place. And uh, once again, uh, now that I've cut through this away, this is the where where it's holding together. I'm just gonna cut the opposite side and cut it across this way like this. So we got plenty of onions. I'm thinking I'm going to keep my onions uh, off to the side for now. Just put my onions over there. I'm going to take one of my onions and put them off to the side. I'm going to caramelize the other onions. Now I had already pre-cut this uh, this garlic piece and uh, put it in the freezer. That's the only way I can keep garlic fresh around here. Everything else turns moldy. So uh, we have garlic ready to go and now we just have to prepare our meat.